Hi guys, today I will show you how to repair a generator on a Toyota Camry Gracia car. Three indicators on the dashboard lit up at the same time. Most likely the problem is in the generator. It looks like the generator is not charging the battery. I had already driven several kilometers, so the tension dropped. Charging from the generator does not go to the battery. Kavuski Vaisa Denso. I'll check the fuse first. I pulled it out and check her for a failure. The fuse is normal. I'll check the generator by passing the battery, black dipstick to the mass, and red to the positive output of the generator. The voltage is very low, so the generator doesn't work. I will remove it from the car and repair it. Before starting work, you need to remove the negative terminal from the battery. I couldn't remove the connector on the installed generator. I'll show you the removal process later. Slightly unscrew the bolts A and B. Unscrew the bolt C until it is possible to remove the belt. Fully unscrew bolts A and B.
To make it easier to remove the generator, you need to spray grease. We sway the generator and pull it out. I unscrew this bar, but it is not necessary to do this. Removing the old insulation. I was able to remove the connector only with a screwdriver. Use the contact cleaner. Next, we will diagnose the generator. Let's check the brushes. Wear is quite severe. Need to be replaced. Upon careful inspection, it turned out that the regulator terminal was broken off. You can replace the brush holder assembly or change only the brushes. I'll show you how to solder the brushes. The soldering iron temperature is about 300 degrees. By the way, I constantly touch this regulator. This is the only disadvantage of this soldering iron. It is better to buy a soldering iron with a display and buttons. These brushes should fit. I'll leave the link in the description. Insert a new brush with a spring. Pass the copper wire through the hole. 
You need to make sure that the brush does not come out completely when the spring is stretched, or make it so the brush has performed at 10.5 mm. To check the voltage regulator you need a power supply with smooth voltage regulation from 12 to 15 degrees. I will use such a power supply. To smoothly adjust the voltage I will use a step-down converter. I only have one. You can also use this one or this one. I'll leave the links in the description under this video. Ideally, it is very convenient to use a laboratory power supply. I'll try to restore contact. I advise you to buy a new regulator. I'll leave the link in the description. The pin assignment of the voltage regulator. This is the connection diagram for checking. Before connecting, you must set the output voltage to 12 volts using this potentiometer. Connect the power supply and gradually increase the voltage. When exceeding 14.5 volts, the light bulb went out. So the regulator is working. Another way to check the regulator – checking the conductivity between the terminals. This is how it should be. So the regulator is working. I am starting to restore the terminal. This is a very convenient check for the engraver. I recommend. I'll leave a link in the description. Then it is desirable to use a special composition to protect against moisture and corrosion. 
Remove and check the diode bridge. Its function is to convert alternating current to direct current. This is a plus conclusion. A diode bridge consists of two plates, one positive and one negative. On each plate is set by three diodes. These are positive plate diodes, this diode's negative plate. In this diode bridge the fourth pin is not used. The fourth pair of diodes is also missing. This is provided by the manufacturer. Check the voltage drop on all diodes. This output is not used. Changing the dipsticks in places. There should be no continuity in this direction. The positive plate diodes are working. Check the diodes of the negative plate. The diodes of the negative plate are also serviceable, so the diode bridge is working. Now let's check the generator rotor. Excellent, there is no break in the rotor excitation winding. Measure the resistance between the contact rings. Now let's check the absence of a short circuit of the winding to the mass. The rotor housing can be reached through vents. Make sure that the probe is in good contact with the rotor housing. Continuity test of each of the contact rings on the housing. The buzzer should be silent. The contact was better at this point. Tests have shown that the rotor is functional. Check the wear of the contact rings. Contact rings wear is minimal. Now we will check the stator. Set the multimeter in continuity test mode. Check the stator windings with each other. Great! Now check the resistance between the windings. Check the circuit of the stator windings to ground. Make sure that the probe is in good contact with the mass. Check each winding. The check showed that the stator is working. Before assembling, you need to clean the contacts. When working with the engraver, be sure to use safety glasses.
I was sent a new brush holder assembly. Start assembling the generator. The old brush holder had a special protrusion and it was impossible to install it incorrectly. The new brush holder will have the bottom where the protective cover moves. Carefully move the brushes inside and install. It is better to use dense cardboard or plastic, so as not to damage the brushes. Well, now the most interesting thing. We will check the efficiency of the generator at home using a drill. To rotate the generator I will use a 10 mm head and an adapter. For convenience, I clamp the generator in a vise. I connect to the positive battery contact and the light bulb lights up. I start to rotate the generator and when reaching about 13 volts, I throw off the plus wire from the battery. Too weakly rotated and threw off the wire early. It works! The light bulb is on from the generator, so it can be installed in the car. Using the bolt C, we will adjust the belt tension.
you need to tighten the belt correctly. If it turns 90 degrees with an average hand effort, this is normal tension. If more than 90 degrees, weak. If the belt does not reach the vertical position, the belt is tensioned too much. This is normal tension. Tighten bolts A and B. Start the engine. All the unnecessary lights went out. The battery voltage is within the normal range. I turn on the low beam and a few instruments. The voltage remained normal. I will press the gas pedal to make sure that the battery is not overcharged. The generator works perfectly. With better contact, the multimeter shows slightly higher values. These are the ones we saw when we checked the regulator at home. Wonderful! Let's make another check by passing the battery. The voltage varies slightly depending on the point of contact. Repairs are complete. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Rate and write. Good luck. Bye.